You were involved in the very beginning of this Nile Basin Development Challenge. What was the original idea? It was spawned out of the first phase of the Challenge Program for Water and Food. And in that program, they had a lot of research program, a lot of research projects in the various basins around the world. And they decided for the second phase to try and make it into a more sort of coherent um, program of research within each basin on a specific issue within that basin. So rather than having a whole range of different projects, which then they had a bit of trouble trying to integrate together, they decided to come up with this idea of a, an overarching theme and a challenge. And within the Nile Basin, it just seems to make sense that overarching challenge was to do with rainwater management because of the, the fact that most crops are, are you know, rain-fed within the Nile Basin. It seems the, the idea of working on rain-fed crops and rainwater management seems to be a, a, like a logical type of approach. And so that's how, I mean, basically how it came about. So in the program, since it started, I'm, well, I'm a hydrologist and, and the role that I'm playing is basically trying to work out um, of what happens to rainfall within a landscape. So obviously in order to manage rainfall and to manage water within a landscape, you need to have a basic understanding of, of how the water moves within the landscape, the, you know, what proportion of rainfall evaporates, what proportion goes into the groundwater, what proportion becomes surface runoff. So we, we've been looking at that. What aspect. were you trying to achieve specifically in your part of the project? Well, so that's like I say, we, we've been working in these three um, small research catchments. Um, in those three catchments, we've now instrument, we put in instrumentation to get a better understanding. We measure rainfall, we measure climate variables, uh, we measure surface runoff, and we measure groundwater and soil moisture. Um, and through these, these measurements, we're trying to, to get this understanding of, of, of the water and you know what proportion could be used for, for agriculture, how you might go about um, reducing evaporation, etc. But the, the work that I'm doing, we're, we, we've moved on, we've instrumented these catchments. It's, that's taken quite a long time. It took us a long time to purchase equipment. Some of this is quite sophisticated equipment. We had to import it from overseas, and that obviously took a long time. But that equipment is now in place, and we've been monitoring for the last three, three four months. Um, we haven't analysed a lot of the data yet, but the data we now have will, will, be, will be used for um, for modelling, computer modelling. So the, the intention is that we can use this data now to help us understand processes. We can then feed the data into computer models and then we can do run scenarios of different um, interventions within the catchments within these models. So at the moment we haven't moved beyond the, the data collection phase and, and to starting to set up and configure the models for these research catchments. So you're going to be leaving the basin, uh, but still continuing to work with the Nile project. What, what would you, if you look forward two or three years, what would you hope to see coming out of, of this of this work that you've been doing now? Well, we'd obviously we'd like to have we'd like to have good calibrated and validated models. We'd like we'd like to have good data, and what we're hoping is now we'll have very good baseline data that we can use to extrapolate and understand um, basic hydrology and processes. Um, so and then and then within the next two to three years from that, we then hope to, to through this modelling gain much more understanding of how different interventions impact on the hydrology of, of catchments. So, Any big challenge you see that we, that if you were to give a piece of advice to the NBDC management, what would it be? Well, basically, I think this is one of the first times that we've 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 actually been collecting primary biophysical data within the International Water Management Institute and well, CPWF in the past there's been very little collection of primary biophysical data and I'm very pleased that within this project we've been able to actually buy this equipment and install this equipment and what we are actually hoping is that through these instrumented catchments like I said I think they're probably the most sophisticated there ever, has ever been in Ethiopia but we want these to become learning sites not just for the NAR BDC but for a whole range of different research programs so we're working with the universities the universities that are closest to each catchment to make sure that they know that their students can use these data and they can come and add on experiments of their own and also conduct their own research within within these catchments but having this basic baseline data available to to underpin the research that they do so yeah and then also with the communities obviously we, we need to get back we need to have ways of translating what we find into information that's useful and, and understandable.